Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be comparing the iForce to the iForce Max in the Toyota Tundra to see which powertrain you should go for, especially considering the iForce Max is more expensive. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with both of the trucks. I'll include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin-turbo 3.4-liter V6 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town, and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 389 horsepower and then 479 pound-feet of torque, standard powertrain for the Tundra. Now with the iForce Max, we've got the same twin-turbo 3.4-liter V6 paired to a 10-speed, but it's also paired to a hybrid system. So fuel economy is 19 around town and then 22 on the highway, so a little bit better fuel economy around town. Not a big change on the highway, obviously, or no change at all, rather. Power outputs, 437 horsepower and then 583 pound-feet of torque. And you can see the <laughs> orange cables and everything going throughout to show you the hybrid components in the iForce Max. Now, before we move forward with this comparison, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So I want to quickly talk about the trucks that I picked up for this comparison. It's not a perfect comparison, but it's as good as I could manage. So both these trucks have a TRD off-road package, so that's the same on them. They both have the limited package as well. So, you know, their tires, wheels, all of that is going to be identical with both the trucks you guys can see with the TRD wheels here with the Falcon Wild Peak tires. Um, so a lot of the stuff's gonna be the same. The only thing that's not the same is the bed. So we got the standard bed, so the shorter bed on the white Tundra with the iForce Max. And then on the Tundra with the regular engine, the iForce, we've got the slightly longer bed. So that does make the comparison a little bit wonky. But aside from that, I mean, I mean literally you can see iForce Max interior truck versus the iForce truck. I mean, obviously the coloration on the seats is different, but the options and the interior and all of that's the same. So yeah. Anywho, let's talk payload. So the payload with the iForce Max is 1,345 pounds. And then the payload with the standard iForce is 1,380 pounds. So you do get a little bit more payload with the iForce, but it's almost a negligible difference. Now the next difference is going to be towing capacities with the trucks and there's not really a difference I could find. Everything that I read is the to Tundra towing capacity is anywhere from 8,300 to 12,000 pounds depending on a configuration and it was more so about the style of truck you get, right? Whether you get the bigger cab or smaller cab, long bed, short bed, suspension you get in the truck rather than the powertrain. So yeah, it looks like either way you can tow a lot, but obviously with the iForce Max, you're gonna have more power, so it's gonna make that towing a little bit easier. It's supposed to, right? And then the last is going to be pricing. Um, so like I said, both these trucks are equipped pretty similarly. The iForce is a no cost option, so you can just add whatever options you normally add. Uh, there's a total price in this particular truck, 66,130. But yeah, there's, there's nothing to add from the engine when it comes to price. And with the iForce Max, it is an option that is expensive. So it's not in the option list. It actually goes in the base MSRP. So you guys saw with the base MSRP and the other one, it was 57K roughly. This is over 60,000 for the base MSRP. So after a similarly equipped truck, 70,000 is the total MSRP. So you're, you know, about a three, almost $4,000 price difference between the powertrains. So with that being said, let's take both of these trucks out, drive them and decide which powertrain is best. I figure it's best to start off in iForce and go to iForce Max second so we can see if we feel like we gain anything by going to the iForce Max over the regular iForce with the truck. Uh, there is a gauge cluster animation difference and also says iForce on this. So Twitter reminds you that you just got the quote unquote regular V6, which I still think is a great powertrain. It develops torque at a pretty low RPM range. Like you, that's what you feel when you're driving it. You just barely get on the pedal and there's tons of torque. 
And this is something I've been thinking about when it comes to these new Toyotas, because a lot of people have been worried about the turbocharged nature, me included. And with how this truck develops a lot of torque on the low end, I think that that actually helps out with the reliability on the turbo side of things. And the reason I say that is if you're low, so like if you're driving like a race car driver, full throttle all the time, yeah, that's gonna put a lot of stress on any engine. But with this turbocharged engine, if you're low RPMs all the time, you're not putting a lot of pressure on the engine, right? Because it develops so much torque there, you know, it could help out with the longevity of it. But there is something to be said about, you know, opening up the vehicle every so often to kind of let it breathe a little bit. Uh, that's uh, something that's, you know, sometimes, you know, you can get like build up if, you, if the vehicle doesn't really, you know, work sometimes. But anyways, with this iForce, again, great torque. I mean, it's just, just going along. No problem. Super smooth. And I love Toyota's V6 sound. I think this is my favorite truck V6. Such a weird thing to say, right? Truck V6, my favorite. Who would have ever thought that I'd be saying that in the same sentence? But it really is. It, it's got like this deep grumble to it. It's it's a really nice sound. It's I, I've I, heard some people, including Doug Jumero, compare it to a V8. It's not a V8 with the sound. It's, it's rumbly, but it's not quite V8 levels of you know, rumble is what I would say. And then, yeah, so going through here, you know, on throttle, off throttle, on throttle, off throttle, there's always torque. There's always torque. I think that's really cool. Yeah, this powertrain, again, the regular iForce, it's such a good powertrain. It's just torque all the way through the power band. And it's just like this rumble. You get this like rolling rumble. It's a really cool experience with the drive. If, if you haven't driven a new Tundra, just go, even if you're not like, you know, 100% on buying one, just go drive one. So you can kind of understand what I'm talking about with how the powertrain feels. Cause you know, the F-150 for example, has 400 horsepower, 500 pound feet of torque, twin turbo 3.5 liter V6. So similar, very similar powertrain. And it doesn't have the same, it feels powerful and quick. It doesn't have the same torquey feel as the Toyota. The Toyota feels like it just has a, a much stronger low end punch. I mean, here, I'll slow down a little bit. Yeah, the person behind me is pretty far back there. So slowing down here and then kind of get into it. Yeah, just really like it, it just builds and it just, it feels like this firm punch out of the engine. I think that's a good way to put it. So yeah, overall, iForce, great engine, hard to beat. So let's see if the iForce Max actually feels like the Max version of the iForce, right? Does it does it have any benefits or are you just throwing away almost $4,000 to have an iForce Max badge on your hood? Yeah, look at that with the gauge cluster. iForce and then Max, and it lets you know the battery state of charge. Because the iForce part just shows you turbo PSI. So, yeah, we'll see if it feels different. So far, not really noticing any sort of, why is the heated seat on? Good gravy. Not really noticing a difference. Which you think I'd notice a difference on the low end, like you think it'd feel, I mean, it's got quite a bit more torque, like 100 pound feet more torque. I think it would feel punchier, but it doesn't really feel any different when you're driving around the parking lot at least. But it does still have that nice torquey feel, <clears throat> excuse me, that the regular one has. Maybe the response will feel a little bit stronger. It's honestly not too different. I'm wondering if the four cylinder iForce Max versus the regular four cylinder iForce is gonna feel more different than the Tundra. 
because again this th this engine just develops so much torque on the low rpm range that yeah it's it's like it, <laughs> i'm not noticing i'm not noticing more of a shove per se yeah it has that same immediacy strong And we'll say with the extra weight, um, it doesn't really feel any different with the suspension, so that's good. It's not really a different drive. I am noticing that I'm, you know, same same road. I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit lower in the RPM range, though. So I, I must be getting, even though it doesn't feel any stronger, I'm noticing the RPMs are sitting even lower than the iForce. So it's it's able to pull some power from the battery to take less pressure off the engine it looks like. So that's a I think that's that's cool. That's a plus. Let's see if it feels any different around here, but again this this transmission is such a good transmission that you, even when you're kind of like on off the throttle it just always has torque. Man, I got a little bit unlucky with this one. You never go through a roundabout when you have people on the other side in Utah, because Utah drivers are crazy. Yeah, again, on off, it doesn't doesn't do anything too weird. See what? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the other truck did not do a little tire spin like this. Interesting. So. Here's what I'm noticing with the programming that's kind of weird. So because the other one has no electric to rely on whatsoever, it seems like it's it's always like biting at the chomp with the engine. This on the other hand, it can rely on the electric side of things somewhat. And so what I'm noticing is it actually sometimes feels like there's a little bit more lag because it's it's like, okay, I can rely on the, oh, now there's more throttle input. I can't rely on the electric side of things. So now I've got to pull in some more engine. So it seems like there's a slight, it's not bad, but it seems like there's a slight disconnect. But it, you know, again, the other one didn't spin its tire at all. And this one definitely had a little, little, little skirt, not a big skirt, little skirt. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, it, it definitely, yeah, it's, it definitely takes a little bit longer on the engine side of things. So to cap things off, iForce versus iForce Max. I mean, it gets a little bit better fuel economy on paper. I've had some people tell me they don't really notice the difference in real life, so there's that. I think the biggest benefit could be the longevity of the engine. Could be, could be, because. Again, it seemed like I was at lower RPM, and I'm rolling right now at zero RPMs. So that's another benefit of the iForce Max. So it, it seems like it takes some pressure off of the engine, which for the longevity of the truck could be a positive thing. It does seem like there's a little bit of a disconnect here and there when you're driving. It's not bad, but when you have a system that's turning the engine on and off, and you know, it, it's this is more focused it's on, you know, conserving fuel economy it makes sense so let me know if you go iForce or iForce Max I think there's pros and cons to both of them do I think the iForce Max is worth the extra money if it was more if it if it for sure ended up making this truck more reliable I'd say yes if not I'm not so sure I think that it because the fuel economy difference is not enough to justify the extra money so let me know iForce or iForce Max